tell your story. Change the conversation. Organized by students. TEDx Youth at SHC. The human heart is a simple but elegant structure about the size of your fist that invokes life in all of us. Through its four chambers and its circuits, we not only breathe and move, but we learn, inspire, and love. And as much as I love learning about the human body from a molecular level all the way to its basic movements and functions, there is something special and exquisite about the human heart that gives me a sense of awe. Now, I'd like to say that the first person who ever sparked my curiosity and desire to pursue this topic has been my mom, a registered nurse. And every day I always like to ask her, how's your day at work? And I always learn something new or get the most interesting stories out of that single question. But our conversations were not only limited to physiology and anatomy. Even though being a curious kid, my never-ending questions led to all kinds of discussions about the human body, we would explore what it means to be alive. We would dig deeper and ask what it means to be human. And my favorite conversation that reshaped my perception and notion towards the human body was when she explained to me the secret behind our heartbeat. Now, I want you to inhale a big deep breath with me. Come on, now hold it, put your hand on your chest, and now slowly let it out. Do you feel those beats? Well, fun fact, your heart will beat over three billion times in a single lifetime. And now what's so special about this? We now know that the source of life comes from a heartbeat. But do you know what it is that gives life to that heartbeat of yours? It's the sinoatrial node. It's a small tissue within the heart that fires a series of electrical impulses to trigger muscle contractions within your heart, causing blood to steadily pump in and out. Usually this is unheard of because we're more focused on heart rate and blood pressure, but maybe you can relate to those lines you might catch at the hospital that go up and down like this on a hospital monitor known as EKG. It's used by nurses and doctors to track that electrical energy being initiated by the sinoatrial node. No electrical energy means no life. And that's when the line goes straight. Now, since we know that the sinoatrial node powers our life, what does it mean to be human. American psychologist Rollo May once stated that the essence of being human is that in the brief moment we exist on this spinning planet, we can love some persons and some things in spite of the fact that time and death will ultimately claim us all. What is essence? From a philosophy standpoint, it's basically the attribute or set of attributes that makes an individual or object what it fundamentally is. Without it, it completely loses its identity. In other words, our own personal essence makes us who we are and gives us a reason to keep living. So what is your essence? I thought about two categories in human life that define human essence. The first is passion, something you can't live without doing, something you wake up every morning for, something you strongly believe in, a change in the world that you want to make, and even the little things in life that bring you joy, like your favorite hobbies, your unique gifts and skills, and your career. The second is inspiration. The people you live for. The people that walk into your life and give you happiness, love, and a reason to keep striving. Your dreams, your goals, and your values give you essence. And as humans with beating hearts, we all have these. The heart constantly beating throughout our lives serve as an everlasting reminder of what our essence is. And when you change your perspective by starting to look internally, literally listening to your heart, feeling that beat, it will surely allow you to see what it is that you live for externally. Essence gives meaning to that heartbeat of yours. 
And today, we live in a world where we simply coexist with different personalities, backgrounds, skin color, faiths, and values, that we forget that something we all share is heart. We all have our own personal essences, things we care about. We all have those beating hearts caused by the sinoatrial node. Two very different things. One, philosophical. The other, physiological. Two very different things, but things I really like to study about. And we can put those two things together, and it not only helps us live a life more meaningful, but it helps us to realize that we're not actually all that different from each other. We've got seven billion hearts beating simultaneously at their own pace on planet Earth. Our hearts are precious, beautiful, and fragile, but its beats, powerful. And that's why I love listening to the sound of my own heartbeat, because it not only helps me realize how intricate and complex and amazing our bodies are, but it reminds me of what it beats for and whom it beats for. Thank you very much.